How does your brand stand out from all the noise on social media today so that your ideal clients tune into your message, create a connection, and make the decision to buy your products and services? How do you effectively communicate your brand story so that you can stand out from the competition and be the brand that always captures people's attention and interest? Storytelling on social media is one of the top strategies that personal brands and business brands can use today to stand out and build influence within their market niche. It's not a new strategy. It's been around for many years and companies like Apple and the Hollywood movie industry have been using it to create their biggest success stories. So how do you effectively use storytelling on social media to build your brand? In this video, I will give you a simple four-step formula to use in your marketing to clarify your message and capture your client's attention. Hi, I'm Bablina Babaluka, founder of Awakened Space Education, coach and speaker in entrepreneurship, personal branding, and personal development, and I help people become the number one authority personal brands in their niche so that they can attract more clients, get higher payments, increase their sales, and create unlimited opportunities. Building a personal brand the right way can take you from being invisible in your market, going after clients and opportunities, and never making enough sales, or getting paid too low for what you offer, to attracting too many clients and opportunities, which can translate to higher sales and profits for you and your business. The way you brand and position yourself in the market is very important. And one of the most powerful strategies for building your brand is storytelling on social media by creating valuable, educational, entertaining, inspirational content in the form of video, articles, photos, and simple social media posts. So how do you effectively tell your brand story on social media so that your customers listen? First, you need to realize that when you try to be too many things to too many different people, you confuse and you lose. If you make your customers think too much and too hard to understand what you do, again you lose. One of the greatest skills in marketing and branding is knowing how to keep it simple and have a clear message that makes people ask, how can I get your products and services? Here's an example from Apple Computers. In 1983, when Apple launched their computer, Lisa, the last project Steve Jobs worked on before he was fired from Apple, Jobs released Lisa with a marketing campaign that consisted of a nine-page ad in the New York Times explaining in detail the computer's technical features. Nine pages of geek talk that nobody could understand. The computer flopped. Jobs was let go from Apple and went to work for Pixar, a company that told stories through animated movies. There, Jobs learned the art of storytelling. When Jobs returned to Apple after running Pixar, Apple became consumer-centric and clear in their communication. The first campaign he released after returning to Apple consisted of just two words, think different. The campaign was a huge success and the rest is history. Apple was able to connect with their customer through a simple message that told the story that their customers wanted to hear. So how do you apply this in your business and your marketing? Here's a simple four-step formula. Step number one, your customer is a hero. Realize that your customer is the hero of your story, not your brand. This is where most brands get it wrong. They make themselves the hero of the story in whatever they post on social media or in their ads. They go into, look at how great we are mode, and they put people off. Instead, you should determine who your ideal client is, know their profile, and always make them the hero of every post you make, every ad you create, every story you tell. When Ampult realized this, they stopped featuring computers in their advertising and started featuring people who were standing out from the norm. The type of people who were the innovators, the rebels, the ones who thought differently, the ones who changed the world. The hero of my story is the entrepreneur who is looking to get the right mindset, skills, and tools to grow their business and create financial and lifestyle freedom, or entrepreneurial people looking for the right ways to start a business. Step number two, 
What is your hero's problem? What do they want? And who is opposing them into getting what they want? You need to identify a hero's problem, not only their external problems, but more their internal problems and feelings, their challenges, what they're looking to achieve in life and what is stopping them from achieving it. And then address these problems in your content and advertising. When Apple realized that their client wanted to be seen and heard, wanted to be seen as hip, smart and cool and different from the norm, people started listening. The hero of my story wants to learn how to use all the online tools more effectively to increase their sales and income and create more lifestyle and financial freedom. What is stopping them is the lack of the right knowledge, the lack of the right mindset, and the lack of the right community, mentoring, and network. And we help them solve these problems and limitations. Step number three, how does your brand come in as a guide? Customers aren't looking for another hero. They're looking for a guide. You need to position yourself and your brand as a guide that gives a hero the solutions to their problems and shows them how to get to where they want to go. Apple offers the solution through computers and smartphones. My brand offers solutions through seminars and mentoring programs. And step number four, how does your hero's life look like after they have come into contact with your brand? Don't assume that your ideal customer knows how their life will look like or feel like after they buy your products or services. You need to show them and tell them how their life will change. Stories of other clients' transformations and results really help in amplifying this step. When you use these four steps to clarify your message, who your hero is, what is your problem, how do you come in as a guide, and how does their life look like after they have used your products or services, and then use this formula in all your advertising and content. You will experience how your business and brand will grow and how easy it will be to explain what you do and what are the benefits. This is Pavlina Babaluka. Thank you for watching. If you want to know more about how I can help you clarify your brand message, create powerful content, and tell the story of your brand on social media so that you can increase your sales, grow your business, and build a powerful personal brand, look for a link around this video and get in touch with me and my team. Until next time, make sure you subscribe to stay updated with my new content and videos and let me know in the comments below if you have noticed brands that effectively storytell and what do you love about their brand story?